In this video, we will be using Heroku pipelines to deploy a Ruby on Rails application. So I'm signed into my account and on the dashboard there is this new button. And if we click that, we can create a new pipeline. So I'm gonna click this just to show how this looks. So here we can give our pipeline a name and we assign the details of who owns that pipeline and you can connect it to GitHub. So I've already got a pipeline set up for my own website and you can see here that we've got a staging app and a production app. So they both get connected to the pipeline. And there is this link to add app to each of these environments. So for the staging, you can add a different app from the production. So I've currently got two apps set up, one for each environment. And as you can see here on my terminal, I've already pushed some changes to the staging application. And if I run git remote and grep for Heroku, you can see that I've only got my staging app. So I don't have my production app connected to my local version at all. So there's no git remote for my production app. So I only push to the staging app. So going back to the dashboard in Heroku, we have this production app and we don't have any way to push to it directly. So what we can do is promote the changes from the staging app to production. And you can do that from the dashboard. There is a button here on the dashboard to do this. So we have these changes already pushed to staging. But what I want to show in this video is how you can do that from the command line. And we can use the Heroku CLI to do this. So the first step is to ensure that we have the Heroku CLI installed. If you don't have it installed, you may want to check that you have Homebrew installed. So Homebrew is an easy way to install the Heroku CLI. So I've got Homebrew installed, and if I didn't have the tool built installed for Heroku, I could run brew install Heroku and pull down the files for the Heroku CLI. But if you don't have Homebrew installed and you don't have the Heroku CLI installed, you can come to this page here that tells you how to install it. So there is instructions here for Mac users, but also for Windows or other operating systems, you can visit this page and it will tell you how to get set up. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to assume that you already have got the Heroku CLI installed and working. So back in my terminal now, I'm going to run Heroku pipelines promote. So Heroku pipelines colon promote, and you can pass in the name of the app that you want to promote on that pipeline, or you can also use a remote option. So I generally use a remote option as it allows me to use the get remote name that I have set up. And the CLI will figure out what pipeline that this app is connected to and automatically promote it from staging to production. So that whole process is handled without us having to do anything beyond this one line. So we can easily promote code from one app to another app that is in the pipeline using a single line in terminal. So once we go back to our dashboard now and look at our pipeline, we can see that the new version has been released on the production app. And if I reload the page, it will tell us that the changes have just been deployed. Now there is one thing that we need to note when we use this approach. So if some of the changes that we are promoting to production contain database migrations, those will need to be run specifically on the production app. But you can easily do that in the terminal using the CLI again. So in this case, we would just run Heroku run followed by our Rails DB migrate. And then we would just pass the name of our app in as an option. So that wraps up this video. Hopefully this will be useful for you guys. And if it is, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.